do. Wake that ass up. <laughs> rise and grind, rise and grind, grind baby. The live hip hop daily rise and grind morning show. Woo! We got the number one morning show to hit Atlanta, man. Rise and grind morning show. Get your ass up and tune in. www.livehiphopdaily.tv. Get that app, baby. Yeah. All right, shoot, we here live and direct, young Peachy Pop. We got our favorite female back on the couch, man. Peachy Pop is in the building. Yeah, What's we up, Peach, man? We're on our regular Tuesday schedule right now. You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? We had GBM come in yeah, early. GBM came through earlier, man. You know, we got to, you know, had to bring, you know, we don't usually bring through big groups, you know, like that. That was our first time doing a group in a while. Yeah, we know we had the female but. voice coming in, so we thought we'd get it in early. So, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, what was that name you came up for the show for Juice? What was it called? Uh, he said a dope name for the uh, segment, Peach. Drinks and no, juice. juice. No, drinks and juice because she comes in and she makes drinks, drinks. and we talk about, about the, the juice. juice. Drinks and juice, okay. Like gin and juice, drinks and juice. You know what I'm saying? So yes. I thought that'd be cool. You know what I'm saying? And we, gotta make, and we gotta make a dope visual with that, like drinks and juice <laughs> with peachy pop. We we are the number one morning Ooh. show to hit the streets of Atlanta hey, for a, a reason, be bro. Hard. You know drinks what I'm saying? Juice. Drinks and juice. I ain't man. got none of that. Though. It's been a it's been a busy week. Yeah, that's oh, hard. Yeah, it happened. It happened, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Lit cocktail been, catering. Y'all, y'all been selling out all. I the, did uh, have a, a um a wedding. My first wedding I did last week Sunday. How'd you like? How that? was it? So it was it was cool, but it was hectic. Like I really walked in kind of blindsided. My homegirl had to come with me, but I was really gonna go by myself. Thank God she came with me because Ooh. it was a lot of work. It was quick. I didn't know weddings happen that fast. Yeah. Like, it was really, it black? Yes, oh, and they started on time, and I was an hour late. Oh, this was like, your very first wedding. Yes, and did you like? I know you like the weddings, don't you? It's a better. What do you? I ain't watched the wedding. I was just trying I'm to talking set about up for the, the bar. Reception. The bar part. I mean, it was it was okay. I mean, it was open. It was an open bar. They paid you so, before though. They right. Paid, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Lit cocktail catering. Speaking of weddings, though. Hmm. That was a good rollover. Right. Segway. Super that was a segway. great rollover. Hey, I did that. That was a great <laughs> rollover. I had to go and give her her props for that you one. Speaking of weddings, y'all, y'all know I'm on it. Yeah, speaking I, of, I've been I've been on it. I've been waiting for this wedding. I, I'm not that excited about it. You know what I'm saying? I the cut Gucci my cable key, off. Key, it was dope. Let me. I gotta read one, one proven fact. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead and give your introduction. I just feel like everybody kind of downplayed the wedding, like majorly, like just like this hating ass nigga. I'm not hating. I turned my cable why? off. I'm hating on ESPN. <laughs> I'm, I'm hating t- on Gucci man. I'm the thing t- is, they, think, they, they, they were saying like a lot of people were like, "What? Where was the emotion? Did y'all watch the wedding?" I'm gonna t- no. I'm gonna tell you why I'm mad that I missed the wedding. This is exactly why I seen this. Okay. Gucci man is the latest star whose nu- whose nuptials will be televised as BT is set to air the rapper's wedding to fiance Keisha Kior this October. <laughs> TMZ reported the network will reportedly fund the wedding. So basically, the wet, the wet, the wedding was paid for by the network of, of one million dollars first, right? Of course. So the network paid one million dollars to the for the wedding. They paid Gucci four hundred thousand dollars, and they paid Keisha Kiyo Keisha two hundred fifty thousand dollars for their right of broadcast their big day. So basically, we got paid six hundred fifty thousand dollars to do the wedding on TV. They paid a million dollars for us for our funded. Yo, that's the best shit ever that you can ever fucking do. But the thing is, they try to make so, it seem like so. Everybody go ahead, do go that. Ahead, go Everybody ahead, go do ahead. that. Stevie J. I take my hat off the Gucci man. He's not the only one that they not the only one that had their wedding televised. Remy Ma right. had her wedding televised. Right. And they got paid. Candy, Candy, and Ty had their wedding paid. televised. You get what I'm saying? But I so, think he was the first street rap of to his. All these people had it, but who Gucci was and who T he is now is it's not a person. Y'all wasn't expecting like y'all don't expect that shit to happen though. Yeah, like he's one old. of he's one of the biggest Atlanta rappers. Like. But they paid them to do it. That's what I'm saying. How many people get paid to do a wedding? All of them we just named. Exactly. Uh, Six hundred. To televise their wedding. VH1, VH1 be paying for yes. all of them. Okay. Well, I'm new VH1. to this. I don't watch TV. I don't watch TV. See? But Shit. I thought. That's I, why I cut I my cable off. I mean, of course, you know. I mean, that's that's letting the whole world into your, your intimate moment. Yeah, your intimate moment. So, I mean, they uh, want to be a part of it. They're gonna pay. A million. That's, that's just right. A million dollars. What to were decorate. the views? What was the number of the views? It was live, so that's another crazy thing. It's I, live. It they might have got played I, I on the think, views. Was it live? Was they, it live? They, I don't. I don't know if it was live. I don't think it was live because it's a. T- it's a show now. Oh, so it's he, every Tuesday. They about to be. Oh, so he every, got a show. Oh, yeah. Gucci, they're, Gucci they're, that they're nigga. They're gonna be coming up. Like they showed the wedding on. What is this Sunday? I don't know what day that Tuesday, was. Tuesday, ten seventeen. Tu- yeah, Tuesday. Okay, they showed the wedding on Tuesday, but now every Tuesday they about to have the show. It's about to be a show so that they can go up to the wedding. Like oh wow, all the shit that happened before. I don't, I don't know wedding. about that shit. But he just got I some just, money. He just got I him just some don't money. Like how people pl- downplayed it because it's like 
females, we, we pay attention to a lot of shit now. A lot of females on Instagram and on Twitter, they was talking shit like, um, where, where was Gucci Man emotion? Why wasn't he crying when she was coming down the aisle? Or why wasn't oh, she smiling and all that extra shit. shit? But what about the details of the wedding? Did y'all see what she gave her bridesmaids? Uh-uh. Trina had, uh, it was like some type of diamond studded clutch. She gave all them, she gave those to all her bridesmaids. Damn, Gucci Man had a fucking diamond studded bow, yeah. bow tie. He bought her a fucking wraith the night before the, the wedding. That's crazy. Like, detail, my nigga. That's what weddings are about. Fuck that. It was super quick. Wedding's not supposed to last a whole, like, two hours long. Like Yeah, that's crazy. So how you want your wedding to go? I, I fuck, this, this is why I, I fuck with about that shit. This, <laughs> I fuck with Keisha Kiyo because she flipped $2 million of his money while he was locked up. To, like, six or seven. So, and that's, oh, she that's all. She deserved she every. Bad. She deserved it. She, do, she, had a, she got her own cosmetic line. She she made money for her man while he was locked up. A lot of right. bitches, a lot of y'all bitches wasn't there when he was shooting. Fuck in the gym. how she did it. You she did, and she did it the, the smart way. Yeah, I mean, I, she ain't suck no dick. Uh, well, she ain't suck no dick. To I don't do know. It. She, I, I, don't, this nigga. I ain't, I don't Here know. Go. But I'm just saying, she was. I mean, she was an industry female. I ain't, I ain't trying to say she was a whole. She was a video vixen. Yeah, she was a video read vixen. The, she gotta be again. Read the fucking book, like that book go hard. Gucci used to like strippers, like any Atlanta nigga did. You know, what I'm like saying? any man sure. should. I don't, was she a stripper? I don't think so. I think she was just she was video video vixen. Video vixen. And she, um, you know, her cosmetic line. She was she was um, known for her. The lips. The, yeah, I hate it. Crazy color. She was really the first one to was, do it. She really was. And then she used to wear these, like, wild-ass mohawks, different color mohawks. Yeah. And I hated that shit. One time I had to, like, I was like, fuck it. I'm, I'm following her ass. I remember when I seen a post that how, how it said, like, how we out here glorify these rappers and these trap rappers. Well, these niggas really got a woman at home. And they had exactly. a picture of two chains with his wife. It had mm-hmm. Jay Z with Beyonce. It had Gucci with his wife. And it had one more person with yeah, their wife. It had uh, it was one more person. I can't remember. It was hey, Gucci, hey, Jay Z. That's a new, uh, that's two a new chains. lifestyle. That's a new trend that's coming. Like you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, niggas is getting married. More men, more men are getting married now, more now. So than you know what I mean. And I like that. I mean, why not? Pro- why not promote marriage? Why not promote, um, you know, getting together and getting with somebody versus this nigga? You know what I'm saying? Kim. I want the old yay back. I want the. I want the old. Is he really fat now? Kim. Kardashian violated again. Man breaks into three of her Kims and Kanye's cars. Guns get pulled. Like, you, yeah, he's very fat now. I see some pictures of Kanye. Kanye is very overweight now. Look at that's the then they got. <laughs> like, that's the dude that broke in the car. Probably so. Man, this is a little that, ass nigga. Like, I think all of that's a scam. You see what I'm saying? When they be like, oh, you know, they keep getting somebody and somebody shit, broke like, in my house. I'll be like, damn. This is the second time that that shit happened to them. Damn. How is your house worth? Three point four million dollars, and yeah. you can't keep nobody from getting in that bitch. <laughs> did, That's did crazy. You, did you spend all the money on drapes? <laughs> God damn, you didn't put no cameras up. Glass windows and doors. That shit be killing me. Speaking of entertainment, let's jump into what y'all niggas like to eat all the time, which is food. Foursquare data reveals that the most popular fast food chain in every state in, in the winter is who y'all think. Chick Fil A, nigga, motherfucker, hey, right? You know, and they still hey, close you know on Sunday. Just, Hallelujah! And they still close on Sunday. So that the most no popular, in high school. the most popular fast fast food chain in every state is Chick Fil A. You know, it's, it's Texas not even, got In and Out. Uh, in and Out is good. In and Out is good. Canes is California. What's right next to Canes? What's this? In uh, something called what's that? Carter's? What's that? Calvin In-N-Out Burger. Cal- Popeyes is what's White Castle. Th- no, I said, what state is that? Uh, that is, that's uh, oh, my I don't even know my state. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? North, no, that's South Dakota. That's South Dakota. Montana. I don't know no, this shit. Look, I'm North Dakota, Dakota, South Dakota. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, that's North Dakota. We don't know y'all niggas, about that geography. Hey, y'all we niggas, we, all that. hold on, watch this. Minnesota. <laughs> Tell us what these, listen, what these states are. Since y'all think we stupid, t- okay, I'm going to show y'all. We got degrees, by the way. Hey, we'll get hey, some rising ground more than this t-shirt if they get What's this state right here? South Dakota. That's a hard state. We have free no drinks for the person who, who let us know. What's this state right I here? <laughs> three free drinks. That's <laughs> South Dakota, Name three man. states. Don't tell me? them. No, I'm going to tell them because they're not going to know what that state is. Nobody's going to know what they're that gonna state laugh. is. They're going to laugh their ass off when they look I'm at it home and be like, nope, I don't know what that shit it's is not, either. It's not South Dakota? You asking the wrong <laughs> <laughs> She oh, like, yeah, shit. somebody smart in here. Yeah, man. <laughs> El- no, anyway. Nobody's answering. Nobody's saying a bitch ass. Ain't nobody saying nothing. 
<laughs> but look, like, you know what? It's not. We don't got no Chick Fil A in Buffalo. They gotta go to like Niagara Falls or Canada for um Chick Fil A. But why is McDonald's why still is, on the map? I have no idea. That's, but you know what? They menus is probably different as fucking Alaska. Like look at this. Gonna, what state got Popeyes down here? Hawaii. Hawaii got Popeyes, and that they shit, like that that shit probably chicken. expensive as shit. That probably should like uh, a, t- a two piece probably be Speaking like. Speaking of Popeyes, fifteen bucks. Did y'all hear about the fact the uh, restaurant that got busted for selling Popeyes chicken, but as imitating as their chicken? What? No. Like they were selling like a two piece for like fifteen dollars type shit. Like they was acting like they was I'm some. Dead. They was they was going to buy buckets of Popeyes chicken every morning and going back to their restaurant and selling it. They jacked it. It wasn't swag. a fast food restaurant. It was like a real nah, actual they, they, dining restaurant. They had like restaurant. a diner, but they had like the like they, they that's called some it. ratchet ass shit. No, it ain't. But if your <laughs> grand, niggas grandmas do it all that's time. That's some hustling ass shit. I just <laughs> made I just made Popeyes? sides. Y'all go and stop by but, and get some but chicken. But listen, y'all they were selling two pieces for like fourteen dollars. Like they was calling like extra crispy virgin. Like they was coming up with crazy names. <laughs> I'm dead. Did y'all see uh, Yo, Wingstop and Wendy's going in on Twitter? It was be- beefing? They was arguing. They had like a fucking whole argument on Twitter. <laughs> About But what? it was rhyming. It was like, it was the uh, the what would you do for the whatever challenge. It was like in that type of. What would you do for the chicken? Shit. Speaking of that, have we been back on the, oh, I forgot. We took a week off. We did take we did. a week off. We took a week off. You about to talk about how that nigga cracked his ankle? Oh, no. my lord. No, 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 no. I ain't talking about that. Oh, my God. I'm talking about the, uh, we ain't talk, did we talk about the BET Awards? I ain't watch it. I told you. I'm we ain't talking about the I watched, I, well, I recorded it and watched it. I ain't watch it when it came on. Yo, Cardi B is on fire. She lit. She lit. This, yo, like, I was playing a song That's earlier before we started the show. That new song she got with ASAP Fur probably be her. She's a featured that, on that song. You, that what? No Limit. That, bro. G Earth. That is my, yeah. Yo, G, what's his name? That may be her second that's song. That's my shit. I played that five times on the way here. On the I'm way not here. even See? lying. That may be that's her, my shit. Listen, that's too much trapping. Listen, morning. Cardi B's it feature, Cardi up. B's feature on, on this song may be her second single. That shit, her she, verse. She snapped a little bit. No, she snapped. She snapped a lot of it. She snapped a lot of it. <laughs> I give it to her. Cardi B. Snap on that G herb. No, I, I don't know if it and was. You the know beat. what? Everything she rap about now, she can actually like vouch for. You know what I'm saying? Like she got this shit. She talking about Rollins. New York, y'all bet. New York, y'all got one. It wasn't a nigga. It was a female. New York finally had came back, and they came back with a female. Because, you know, New York, I've been waiting. Y'all had Bobby Schmurder. She still need a second hit? Yeah, on her own, right by herself. They got the, got got shit. Y'all just don't. Y'all just she don't need another hit. To, she need another hit. She got him. She need already. another y'all hit. Just don't, but she got, radio. she got the attention right now from New York right now. You mean she needs something for the radio? She needs something. Because she got other shit. Man, okay. man, this song with G Herbo is hard. Stay there for a little minute. You heard song with G Herbo? can't be no oh, ass a, hey. She got some fire. That song with Y'all G Herbo is hard. Like but that's not her song, song though, right? It's not her nah. song. She had a mean verse. That was a feature But some verse. niggas, a lot of niggas got songs out here with mean verses. Especially and, and, when somebody writing your bar. Gucci and Amigos got one she of the hardest songs. She changed the hook on that mean. bitch. Yeah, she killed that shit. I get, we got to play. I'm going to play that off camera. We're going to play that. But yeah, shout out to Cardi B, man. I like to see a female running New York right now. Y'all needed that because y'all know what happened to Young and May. She just disappeared. <laughs> she turned into Damn. a man. She turned into a man she, on y'all Like you said. <laughs> people forgot about Young and May. She done did these shows. Did had the shows. Did that club, money. Club, forgot, uh, forgot to record. Right. That's New York. But Bobby Smith got, Bobby Smith got locked count. up. He got locked up. Y'all can not. Uh, designer. Designer. Oh, designer. The future dude. <laughs> <laughs> these, it shows you that they don't have the substance. Designer you know came saying? out of New York? He's yeah, from he New York. York. I sounded that. like he came straight from New York. Atlanta. Sounded like Future. Yeah. I don't think he asked to sound like Future, y'all. Like I don't think he did that shit on purpose. Also, I'm 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 one that's gonna say I don't believe that he actually like that's probably just how he sounds. But he can't freestyle for shit. Y'all seen like his um his little shows in the studio. I mean his little videos, videos. in the studio and shit. No, I, I heard. Uh, I also read that. Uh, Offset is the hottest commodity in hip hop right now, or on the way to being the hottest commodity That's in hip hop. He fucking with Cardi. He he in a fucking oh. super group. He even in a fucking awesome ass group, and then he's fucking with the baddest bitch that's hot, the hottest in the streets right now. You think he writing her music? Yes. Os- you think Offset writing Cardi B music? Yes. It might not be him. It probably, it's probably another nigga writing him, but I don't think <laughs> I it's him. I believe it's him. That it nigga. Was, I think he wrote. What you want I think say, he wrote Lick. What you want to say? I think he wrote Lick. Right. Looking like Looking I like, like a Cardi Lick. Lick. Cause he on it with her. They might have, I think he probably mm. wrote it. He wrote those bars. He might have It's okay. Them. It happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, the thing is, if you admit it early, you know, it doesn't make it so bad. How many, when, how when many really rappers admit out. that somebody else wrote their shit? Like, oh, uh, well, you know, 
singers. Meek, Meek, uh, Larry Love Boy, Meek Mills said that uh, Drake, uh, you know, don't be writing all his bars. Look at this dumb shit Meek Mill doing right now, though. Meek, my nigga. Oh, I seen that. I seen oh, I that. nailed that landing. Who's that? He with the Sixers? Yeah, Meek. So what happened was last Friday, Meek Mill was at the Sixers game, and he was out there flipping with the uh, actual gymnast before the game. Meek cut the flip. <laughs> I was scared for Meek too. I was like, "Come on, Meek!" He don't, was scared don't, too. I'm like, "Come on, Meek! Don't don't fuck up now." <laughs> you know, wins and losses though. But I'm a you know shot to Meek. And then also that Dream Chasers album is still you know that's that Meek album still in my deck right now, man. You still playing? Yeah, it? boy, Meek. Meek playing it. Meek album still in my deck right now, <laughs> man. So I think Meek Mill made a uh, good album. Who else playing it? The Chasers. The Chasers playing it. <laughs> I play it here now. <laughs> but now nah, I like I like Meek Mill album. Um, what else going on in entertainment news? Did y'all see um Y'all see Buddy break his leg? Oh yeah, that was the, yeah. Hayward. Hayward. Yeah. That, I don't like to see, I can't, you see it. You see it? Uh, that's the Jamie? worst thing to do. Breaking bones. I don't like I don't I can't look at certain uh I can't look at certain injuries and shit. Like I didn't look at when Paul George broke his leg. Oh man, look when at Paul shit. George broke his leg, yeah, it I looked like a toothpick. Yeah, I couldn't even look uh, at that. Snap. Leg. Yeah, I couldn't even look Me at too. that. That's fucking nasty. So how did how did y'all feel about y'all thug and future super slimy mixtape that came out last Friday? Cause I heard I, it was alright. I ain't listen to it. Yeah, I, I should have because I fuck with thug hard. He 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 going out bad right now, going begging bad. for his girl back. How you bet? How that's bad? First of all, he fucked up and was fucking with this girl <laughs> who nothing. tried to play like she ain't know he was uh, like engaged or whatever. But she's she's right. Who said that? Whatever. Thug. Look, man. Like I, see, it's times where y'all don't want to give it up. Just it's take them back, you know, it's Jerica, like, You gotta go. You gotta go. Take them back, Jerica. Monica said Rocco that's... back? What? <laughs> like, oh, act like Monica. Because she's so mine. like, you know, she... <laughs> I thought it was b- <laughs> the boy's mine. No, is because that what she's about? a good, she's a good role model. Monica's like, real Atlanta. A lot of people don't know. She's from she's Atlanta. She's a good wife. Yeah, she's from Atlanta. Fuck all that shit. Monica real Atlanta. Peachy Pop, you gonna let another woman uh, at least touch on your man once or twice, even if you don't. You sometimes you don't okay. even get up. Me and my friends, I talk about. I talked about this. Right. Like, I would if, if my dude cheat. You get like I don't even want to say I'm allowing a nigga to cheat on me, but it's all about. I just know it's niggas gonna fuck up. Niggas gonna fuck up. Y'all niggas gonna fuck up. Niggas gonna fuck so, up. So you get one time. <laughs> Maybe every like two about. years. One the time, fuck up. okay. One time every two years. Maybe what? What I'm supposed to do? One time every year. Dang. That's I don't know. me saying I mean, this is year, really. We got another female in the building. Fucking up my morals right now. You give a nigga one chance to cheer. He out of here. And one, we, one and done. I can vouch for doing it though. I can vouch for a nigga cheating on me, and I went back to him. Like, not saying that that was just. The smartest thing to do, the, but... The question is, did he come back to you? Did he call you? Did he say, come on now. hey, boo, how you doing? It's too hard to start If he didn't call you, if, hard, if he hit someone else I've been single for four you, years, y'all. Yeah, I've been single for four you. years. It's too hard to start over. What year is it? It's 2017. I've been single for almost five years Niggas now. ain't shit? Niggas ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing changed. They and was all raised by women. You got to learn. It's just who you going to deal with. You got Who shit you going to put up with? That's all. Yes. Basically, who shit you gonna put up? Well, you gotta put up with somebody's shit. Exactly. You got to put up with somebody's I'll shit. Stay, but I pull up, I'll stay, but I'll put up with my own shit. Okay. It's a lot. Of, it's a lot of single females still saying that. That's why. And and they still putting but up with their own busy, shit. Peachy busy though. Peachy, you got a you got an excuse. Peachy work. If I had a nigga, I sit my ass down a little bit maybe. Peachy biggie though. If I Peachy, she she busy. Like I give her the benefit of a yeah, doubt. You got so your own mean? business. What, what that I mean, mean? you, you grab. Yeah, I don't. I'm not entitled to being a. Nah, you been entitled, but I'm saying you on your grind right now. You don't really want no relationship, do you? I'm, I'm tired. Somebody, I am tired of being single. Like, you want somebody I, to rub them little feet on and everything, huh? That, that's oh, how y'all women do. That's how y'all women do. Y'all just want cuddle that's buddies. It. That's what it. That's where the term started from. I want consistency. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. Ooh. Word of the consistent day. dick. Consistent. consistent. Ooh, mm. that too. Drinks. <laughs> consistent. What? It's consistent a lot of consistency you can get. Consistent C, I huh? want in in a relationship. In a dude, I want. Some, I want to be able to date somebody in that. At one point, we get to the point where we like, okay, yeah, yeah. we're not, you're not gonna date anybody else. I'm not gonna date anybody else. We're gonna date each other. And so people that do Man Crush Monday, what you think about them? The girls that do Man Crush Monday, they lying. You too grown for that? I Especially mean, if he ain't your man. If I had a nigga, I might do a Man Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Chicks be taking screenshots really, of uh, Lord, uh, Boris Coach talking about Man Crush Monday. You no, know, I don't do that shit. Know, 
I think my man crush be like my nephew and shit. That's what single bitches do. We I put our when, little nephew or our sons and shit. I hate when girls put celebrities and shit. Like you just want yeah, to post something on that man shit crush whack. Monday. Like that's, shut up. That like, shit whack. Yeah, that shit lame. Too grown for that. Consistent. Who, Peachy somebody got you as a nah, MCM. I don't want to be an MCM. You never been an MCM. You're know. lying. I don't know. He's lying like fuck. Oh, you talking about? Oh, I oh, maybe had one time, but that shit, I, that shit got taken. The holes in the side pieces, they be uh, coming, shit, to, they come that out shit, that shit on def- Instagram. That shit definitely got taken down. Like I can't really, I'm not the type of advertise. <laughs> you said it got taken down. You made it take it down, bro. <laughs> no, dead ass. We was on. This is when we was <laughs> a like, highly unique. We was on the show. Matter of fact, we was fact, highly unique, <laughs> no, we'll and I'm like, damn. We'll we'll nigga, we was on the show. We was at the radio show. Hey, yo, yeah, you got to go and take that. I'm sorry. Yeah, you had to go and take that. You can bleep it out. Call the owner show. Yeah, you had to go and take that picture off. You know, you messed up, nigga, image and shit. Nigga got holes. You might need. Nah, I ain't say you got holes. <laughs> I ain't say I got holes. I'm like, yo, you messing up a nigga image, though. Every but. week, this nigga talk about his side pieces and his hoes. I mean, always in there talking about, yeah, uh, I got to send that good morning text out to all my hoes. If you think, at least got four think, hoes. The thing about my females is they're not going to look at this shit unless I tell them to look at this shit. You know how you know? How you got some it? of them look at it. How you know? You, some they of probably them, now because no. they seen we, us talking about your bitches and hoes, and now they like, I'm gonna see what this some, is gonna say next week. Some of them really might support a nigga, but the ones that really, you know, nah, unless I tell them to go look at it, so I know which ones to tell them to go look at. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, you, yo, got, you got you got control. So what hey, you man. so you think you are gonna be able to give it up when you get? Oh, married? I'm done. I'm saying when you get married, I'm thirty. I said I turned thirty this year. I, t- I told myself I turned thirty this year, so the whole player card just got expired. It's expired. I don't believe that. No, I'm done. I'm dead serious. I'm done. I don't believe that. I'm Y'all know why? Eight. Because I I'm know. Da- I'm dead serious. I'm dead. Look, I'm thirty. I know niggas in my family that still. Damn, that's them. That's them. No, I'm done with these hoes. See, when you grow up in Atlanta, so you, you about to settle down? Yeah, I, but I ain't gonna. I can't say I want. I, that's what my that's the vision. You know, that's the. I feel like these niggas is that's getting mad. That's what you working towards. Yeah, like it's cheaper. It's a fad now. I'm tired of going out. Listen, it's a fad. You can talk to three girls. And this this is what happened. Let me give y'all to the niggas that don't. Anyway, you can talk to three girls in one week, right? Every time you go to a girl, it's at least sixty five to hundred dollars. True. So if you talk to if you dating three different females right now, and you about twenty nine thirty, nigga. That's about three hundred dollars. Uh, I mean, and you gotta have more money to do it when you marry. I mean, it ain't about it ain't even about <laughs> it ain't even about it's about that's y- hush money, it's, nigga. And this is and this is where the money hush come in hush at. Money. This is the money come in at. It's gonna be gas to get where y'all going. Y'all may wanna buy a bottle. Y'all may have to get something to eat where y'all going. Depends on what else y'all do. Y'all may need some things that, you know. Y'all around may... me, I need a hookah. Right. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you got to feather all I this shit in. Game. So if you got three different women, I do that with one woman versus I do that. With... I spend all that same money on one woman. You know what I'm saying? Why, why I split it against amongst three women? Because half, cool. half the money I mean, you... Hold on, really... hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, Peachy Pop. I don't go mean to cut y'all. Go ahead, go ahead. Half the woman you sleep with Larry Love right now, you don't have to spend no money on. Man, you right. Cause half them hoes don't even have. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> hey, you Netflix they, and chilling, hey, bro. Hey, and, and that's <laughs> what I'm saying. That's when you. And that's when you. That's when you put your standards up. Like she got to have at least one or the other. Now. I don't I'm sorry, think that's true. Nah. My, my, oh, it's true. Oh, it's true. My standards <laughs> now. My standards. It's true. You can get some pussy without spending no money. Yeah, you can. No money. I mean, no money down. I mean, I ain't gonna say no money. You gotta still buy the bottle or something. You gotta buy like you gotta have the bottle of liquor. You gotta, you gotta buy the food. You gotta buy. Don't flex with me on this camera. We finna get okay. up out of here. What I was about to say. <laughs> hold on, wait. What I was about to say was that if you you said three girls compared compared to one, it's gonna be cheaper. But no. if it's one, no. if it's one chick that you with. I rather, you, no, 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 that I'd rather take serious versus three I of y'all. I don't know hoes. what the fuck he wanna do. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, on camera. Like, well, it's, it's, it sounds, it sounds like you have your, you know, your. Yeah, head, I mean, it, it, it's like right. this, it's like this, and I'm about to give y'all niggas the game right now. And I'm about to really get the game. And then we get this out, of, and I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to really get out of the game. <laughs> Why tell shit. a thousand lies when you can just tell one truth? And that's the game. If I tell you, you gonna, if you live with that shit, you get far, my nigga. Why tell a thousand lies? You can just tell one truth. Facts. So when, y- when y'all niggas take that off the camera, you know, this is Wednesday. Uh, take that into Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? It's $2 Tuesday with Peachy Pop. But remember that what statement, really man. Is why fuck, why, why lie to a whole bunch of bitches when you could just tell a thousand lies to your main bitch? <laughs> Listen, that man. Why well, tell a thousand lies when you could that tell one truth? Was her tell, 
hilarious. Well, I tell a thousand. You can just tell one truth, be done with it. Fuck it. If you gonna believe it or not, that's what I'm saying. But versus keep lying to this whole line to that whole. It's too much. I'm gonna just lie once. Well, I'm. Well, I see. <laughs> I'm gonna just lie to one. Thing. I see you keeping to your one truth. lie. I see he keeping to his one lie right he now. He's trying to. That's, that's, that's gotta, his goal. You gotta hey, I'm only trying to lie to one bitch for the rest of my life. Hey man, that's it. That's what I said. But nah, I'm just playing. I ain't gonna dog y'all out like that. All right, uh, Peachy Pop going to give you information. Give him lit cocktail catering sh- info lit, too. Um, I do have a lot of uh, true. I do have a lot of openings for November, but my Instagram for my business page, uh, my, my business page on Instagram is lit cocktail catering, L I Q cocktail catering. True. And then Peachy Pop two eyes two peas. Peachy Pop two eyes. Y'all two get them piece. Hennessy margaritas, man. Them things bumping. You feel me? Yeah, people been asking me for them. For like all week, but bitch been busy. Oh. Meet me at Minaj on Saturdays. It's inside the atrium. The what? Minaj. That's I need one of them. Up. I need a good one of them. Yeah, what's that? It's dope? a club. It's, it's dope. The, it's, it's um we having our well we had our first um we had our opening night Saturday. It's been open actually for the last couple weekends, but um that's been like a how is it moment. though? It's nice. Inside. It's, it's dope. It's I never I actually East never been, needed something too. I actually never been inside the atrium. It's a pool in that bitch. Oh yeah. I don't know how people feel about. I don't know. But that I, pool shit situation. I DJed in the different. atrium before for uh, it was Roddy White's birthday that used to play for the Falcons. He had his birthday party at the atrium, it's and that was my that man. shit big as fuck. And it's two sides. It's like two clubs. Mama. Yeah. But yeah. I'm on the bar. Come tip your girl. How many minutes we got, Jay Black? <coughs> we we out of here? Yeah, but can. let's go and wrap it up, man. Shout out to Jay Black. Like I say, man, our cameraman is working. I'm going to say that every day. He just came back from Revolt TV conference. Dope. So he is working, and, uh, right. you know, everybody in the camp is working. So we support who we support us, and we got to you know we're going to jump in. We got one more. What's tomorrow? We got uh, tomorrow. Shoot. We're uh, we going to do Kick Soprano tomorrow. He coming oh, yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. coming back through. He said he got some kicks, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a fun filled episode with him. Okay. Um. Oh, Yo, everybody, go follow the Rise and Grind Morning Show IG page, man. T R A G M S. Yes, T R A G M S. It, it once you know it, it it's it's pretty easy. Yeah, T-R-A-G-M-S. I be having to still say it when I type it in. T R A G M S. Rise and Grind. Yeah, so go follow us <laughs> right now. The Rise and Grind Morning Show. Go like us on Facebook. The Rise and Grind Morning Show hashtags, as well. Hashtags for real, for real. Hashtags yeah, yeah, yeah. Are everything. Yeah, hashtags are everything. And um, shoot, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Me and Larry Love will be with we Kick Soprano tomorrow. Peachy Papa Love. Yeah, we'll be come back. Through. Tuned in tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Live Hip Hop Delity. The Rise and Grind. We out of here.